Hey guys, I'm definitely not going out today. Three hours of class turned into nine hours of class, which is good because money is great. <sighs> so I'm literally going to be sitting here teaching all day until the sun goes down. It'll be a good chance to fast. I definitely don't have time to go to the supermarket and I don't want to do delivery of food. So we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to end up fasting and that'll be great. I'll make some more video later and just tell you what I'm doing. See you guys. Alright guys, I had a long day of teaching. I planned badly. I wasn't able to go to the supermarket or anything. And I'm just going to show you what I got. It's not a healthy refeed by any means, but it's not that bad. So guys, I got some KFC. And remember, I'm in Thailand, so it might be a little bit different. So stick around and see what it is. Uh, this should just be a bag of fries and another bag of fries. I ordered two of the same thing. And I've got some oil heating up on the stove. Guys, a good way to wake up french fries when they come from delivery is just um, stir fry it for like two minutes in a pan on the stove. I'll show you that. But yeah, these are the two fries. Uh, and they've got these really, really good things over here in Thailand that I haven't seen before in America or China even. So let's take a look. It better be fresh, because I know they were closing soon. I specifically wrote, like, made to order, please fresh. Alright, so what did I get? These are cool. They're called a Wing Zab. Wing Zab. Z-A-B-B. -B. And they're just like these spicy little chicken legs. So this box contains eight spicy little chicken legs. And three normal size pieces. Okay, so I got eight legs and just three pieces. Let's see. Looks like I got a breast. Um, maybe another breast. I'm bad with the chicken terminology. And definitely a leg. I know what a leg is. And that's everything that was in this box. And even the sauces are different here. I mean, everything's different. It's a different country. So they just have the beer barbecue sauce. That might actually be the same. And they've got these cool little uh, chili sauces. It's just kind of like sweet and spicy. Thai chili sauces. And, oh, what is this? This might be the fries. Let me see. Fries. No, these are just uh, chicken nuggets. Pop one in real quick. I know chicken nuggets like aren't real meat, but it's just included with this, so I go for it. Mm, it's really good. I'll show you the plate close up now. Mm, this is my first food in 30 hours, and I worked all day today. For a teacher, I was pretty busy. Other jobs, probably just normal busy. So just the chicken, the uh, wing zab. These things are fantastic. They're pretty spicy too. And that's everything. So now I'll show you how to wake up the fries. Let's turn this. All right. So like I said, I've already got the oil going. You just heat it up a bit. Not too hot, of course. And I just open the fries and throw them in. That's all you do. Because guys, you know when you order fries, like they're just like soggy and not very good. Look at that. Terrible. And let's see how well they wake up. Let's see how well they activate. Tonight, I'm going to watch the new director's cut of Justice League. I would never pay for anything like that, but uh, I found a copy online. Wink, wink. So I'm not going to support that. I mean, it's like, make the movie good the first time. I'm not going to pay you for two different movies. Like, you're kind of sandbagging me. I kind of want to add some basil to this. I think it would be good. But I'm just afraid to mess with herbs. I definitely am going to add salt, though. Just a teaspoon of salt. And you know what? I'm going to throw a handful of uh, basil in there. Might as well. Basil. Basil. So I've got this uh, super fresh basil. I'm in Thailand, of course. I'm just going to add a few leaves of basil. See what happens. Take off the stem. And just throw the leaves in there. And you just kind of stir it around for a minute. And we'll see if it actually works. I've done it a few times. It usually works okay. Um, and let's just uh, take a look at the wing zab while we've got a moment. Pretty small, but they're just little chicken legs. Mm. 
Really good. Just super um, crispy. Mm, the flavoring is really good. I'll show you guys uh, the sauces too. Alright, mix that around a bit. I've got it on medium heat. I don't think anyone is actually going to take cooking advice from me, but I might as well say it. Alright guys, and back to this. I found my scissors. Let's look at the Thai KFC chili sauce. See how it looks. And I'll just put some on my plate. Show you guys. Who put the long blonde hair in my food? I'm gonna call the Asian restaurant that made this and complain that there's long blonde hair in my food. Oh, wait, that might actually be me, my bad. So yeah, this is the chili sauce, it's kind of sweet. Let me see. And it's sweet and it's a weird taste. It's like sweet and spicy. And like I said, I've got the barbecue sauce, KFC. And you guys, ironically, I never ate KFC much in America or China. Like, it's kind of just something I've started doing since I've been here. And let's look at the fries now. Remember how soggy they were a minute ago? Let's see how they look now. Uh, still a little bit soggy, but let's see if they taste better. No, it's a little bit crispy now. I'll just give it some more time. Oh wow, and that basil did a lot of good work. Wow. I'll give that another minute or two. And guys, I'm feeling like I look pretty decent. Like my arms are starting to take shape. Like my waist is looking smaller. Like everything's great right now. I'm pretty happy. Tomorrow, I've got a lot of time to go to the beach. And I'll have a Coke, I'll have a chicken nugget right now with the Thai sauce. I'm gonna throw the chicken nuggets in there too. It might benefit from the waking up procedure. The chicken's all pretty good though. And I'll unbox the other one while we're at it. Here's the chicken nuggets going in. And here's the other box of food. Let's look at that. All right, KFC in Thailand. There's no Thai written on the box. It's finger licking good. I remember when Corona first happened, I was like, uh, they might need to change that. So just all the wing zab like I told you about, all the chicken legs, and this stuff is great. I'm gonna close it up to keep some of the heat in there. And I don't know about you guys, but I always turn on the AC when I eat. I don't know why, but it makes everything taste, you know, it's more comfortable. Do you guys need to have air conditioning when you eat? Maybe it's just because it's really hot here. It's like 90 or 40 degrees or something. All right, I'm just gonna turn it off now, the heat, and just let it chill in there. Um, I think I should cover it just so it kind of like bakes a little bit. I'm always confused about like when to cover and when not to cover. And great, let's start. Let's start with the eating now. Like I said, I'm gonna watch the four hour cut of Justice League tonight. I'm not a huge fan of either Marvel or DC. I'm really done with Marvel at this point. I mean, I enjoyed all the Avengers, but I mean, after a giant three hour like world-changing event of the Avengers, why am I gonna watch like some sitcoms with them in it? That would just be really silly. Like, they officially jumped the shark. Like, they went too big, and there's... Why would I watch any Marvel stuff now? Right. But, uh, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Like, everyone was talking about, like, WandaVision. And I'm like, who cares? Those are, like, two uninteresting characters with, like, no backstory. And this year, they're gonna make, like... Well, I guess they can't make Black Panther now. Uh... They're gonna make like some prequel with Black Widow in it. And I'm like, guys, who cares? Like you finished the franchise, like you should have done that before. But now when it comes to um, DC, like Batman, Superman, DC, I actually like them a bit more. The movies aren't as good, but the characters in DC are much better than Marvel. And they're also just stronger. But I'm sure people are gonna get in a fight if I talk too much about that. But yeah, my weight was still under 80 kilograms today. It was like 79.9. We'll see what it is tomorrow. See, like... Every body, not everybody, every body is different. And I know from experience, eating KFC and fried things doesn't make me gain much weight. For me, it's all about like the carbs, like rice and noodles, things of that nature. 
Because, I mean, the french fries have carbs, but it's not a ton. And I would honestly tell anyone, eating a giant plate of fried chicken doesn't make you gain weight. If you eat, like, a normal, like, western diet and fried chicken, yes. Because basically you shouldn't mix carbs with fats. You can have protein and fat, or you can have protein and carbs. But don't mix fat and carbs. If you want to know why, go watch Dr. Berg. And I think he's kind of a fraud. I mean, he doesn't have a good body, and he never really has. I mean, with me, I'm chunky right now, but I literally put on weight to do an experiment. You guys can go look at the pictures, like, it's proof. Dr. Berg is not even, like, a medical doctor. He's, like, a chiropractor. And he lives in D.C., guys. Name five decent people that live in Washington, D.C. I can't think of any. He's just, I don't know, he's just in it for the money. I had this guy from England. He's like, I just spent $200 on all these essential vitamins from Dr. Berg. I'm like, dude, go spend $200 on, like, carrots and asparagus and meat and you will be much healthier. Hey guys, um, I'm a small channel. I'm probably always going to be a small channel. But if I ever start selling vitamins, like, shoot me. Because it's not me. It'll be an, invest uh, an impersonator. And um, I still defend Cole Robinson for selling uh, snake diet stuff. Uh, snake juice. Because people are asking him. They're like, oh, salt, potassium levels. Like, what's the correct ratio? He's like, you know what? I'm just going to make it. He's like, go buy the salt for like $2 or go buy my stuff. If I ever do sell anything, it's going to be like that. It's like, guys, you can do the cheaper option or you can do the easier option. Because I'm personally one of those people that pays money to get stuff done easier. Like, my visa here in Thailand, I would have had to like go to immigration, which is like a 20-minute ride away, do a bunch of paperwork and wait days and stuff. I just paid an agency to do it for me. And of course, check it out that it's like a legit company and they don't scam people. But I spent like 2000 American dollars just so I wouldn't have to go do all that stuff myself. So some people do like to pay for convenience, and I'm one of them, I guess. But again, I don't really want to fly back to America right now. And I cannot return to China. So here's really my best option. I guess I don't think anything else is really going to happen in this video. Let's end it here. Oh, and the weird thing I do, I always eat like the cartilage off the end of the bones. Do any other um, people that live in Asia do that? I think black people in America do it too. My mom is from the South. Well, there's lots of black people in the South. And she told me, like, she's seen this a lot. It's not racist. She's, this is what she saw black people do. They bite the bone in half and then like suck out the marrow. Which I think is great because I love blood, I love marrow, stuff like that. It's just kind of hard. I can't break these bones. Maybe the big ones are easier. Anyways, guys, uh, let me show you the fries and then we'll finish the video. I think they're going to look better, of course, than that soggy mess. And my kitchen's not really that dirty. It's just a bunch of like herbs and stuff. If it was just standard crappy western food, it would be really clean. Alright, I would say this is definitely an improvement. It's not as soggy as before. It's got some color on it, and let's see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. So yeah, guys, uh, throw some basil leaves in there. It didn't do any harm, and it just made it all better. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.